what's up guys this is gravity cat here and today I'm bringing you a video about the micro warp drive cloak trick now, the micro warp drive cloak trick is a little trick people can use to get through things like gate camps or to just simply align off to your destination while cloaked now this does work for all industrials and everything subcapital with the exception of the orca and the bowhead um, they can't fit, they're too heavy for their class. Their, their class of micro warp drive is not strong enough to, to make this work. So what you need for the micro warp drive cloak trick to work with this little sigil I have here is an improved cloaking device, Tech 2. You, can't, you cannot use the prototype, it is not strong enough. Uh, well it is strong enough, but the uh, maximum velocity modifier is I believe 90% and that's too strong. You also need a size appropriate micro warp drive for cruisers, battle cruisers, and industrials. That's the 50mn. Um, frigates and desis is the 5mn. Battleships, 500. Capitals, 50,000. You get the idea. You also need to make sure that your align time is less than 10 seconds. And this is because the cycle time of the micro warp drive is 10 seconds. If you're using a capital, the cycle time of the micro warp drive is 20 seconds, so you have to make sure that your capital aligns in 20 seconds or less. Now, there's two ways to, to go about this. You can use a larger ship, uh, like for example the uh, Bestower that I have sitting over here, or you can use the fast industrials, things like the Sigil. These have plenty of power grid to fit the appropriate sized micro warp drive. Uh, however, the Bestower just pop that up right here. The bestower does not. Uh, as you can see, I've had to use three reactor control units to get the 50mn micro warp drive to fit. So, if you're using things like the Iteron Mark V, um, or the Bestower, or I think the Tyra is the Kalari one, uh, you are going to need to dedicate some space to power grid fitting. Um, Potentially rigs even, as well as as well as a line time because you know I, I have these two inertial stabilizers and a nanofiber, and my line time is 10 seconds exactly. Well, it's 9.63, but the way server ticks works is it's effectively 10. Point is, you have to make sure that your align time of your ship is less than the cycle time of the micro warp drive. So with the larger ships, the larger industrials, it's going to be a bit of a problem. But for the smaller industrials, it should work just fine. So, I'm going to give you a demonstration with using the sigil. So I'm just going to undock. Into the chaos, that is the Amar trade hub. And let's go... Let's go here. Why is... Okay, there we go. Like, why is my radio my radio menu was not working. Now before we jump this gate and, and actually do the demonstration, I'm going to explain what works and how it works. So what you need to do is once you've jumped into the system, you need to align to your destination and then immediately hit your cloak. Within a five second window of hitting your cloak, hit your micro warp drive. When the micro warp drive is nearly done cycling, about 90 or 95 percent, turn off the cloak and spam warp. Uh, you do that and it should work just fine. Now the reason this works is because uh, when you turn on the micro warp drive it boosts your velocity by 500%. When you turn it on after the cloak's already active, it boosts your cloaked velocity by 500%. Which when you uncloak will be at or around the 75% velocity you need to hit warp. And hopefully, if you've followed this instructions correctly, your align time, thank you for bumping me, little frigate, your align time will 
be less than 10 seconds. So by the time your cloak is dropping, you'll have already been aligned to your destination. That's why it's important to make sure that your ship can align in 10 seconds. So let's jump through here. Some people will advocate putting them both in the F1 and F2, so it's just easier to hit. And we're going to warp to the Martha gate, so I'm going to hit the line and cloak. Then micro warp drive. Then as the micro warp drive winds down, turn off cloak, spam warp. And as you can see, I hit warp almost immediately, if not immediately. And so that's pretty much it. The benefit of this is if you're flying a ship that's not covert ops capable. This allows you to align off to your destination while cloaked, so no one can lock you. Um, and then, as you uncloak, you're already in warp. So, it won't matter. This is just a way to help. Now, this won't get you through nullsec, uh, because bubbles are a thing. But, this will get you through a crappy low-sec gate camp. Um, if you just don't want to be scanned. If you're, if you're worried about your cargo value drawing attention, that this is one way you can get around worrying about that. But that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.